If I look like I've been crying, I have. The heat just makes it so much harder. Oh no. I'm having a little bit of a crisis with my hair, but I've started reading Throne of Glass. Tattoo the roof. All right, let's go. I just recorded that whole thing and my microphone was turned off. I honestly don't know whether I even need this thing because it's freaking huge and I'm like does it even make the audio quality better? I don't know. Welcome back. My name's Connor if you're new. What did I just summarize? Um, in my headband era, loving headbands at the moment. I feel like my hair's definitely lighter now because I've washed it a couple times. Um, but it's still very much like red vibes, except for at the top. The top is quite like brown. Um, what else was I saying? It's really hot today. I know I talk about the weather all the time, but holy shit. January and February, if you're ever gonna come to Queensland and you're not from here, don't come in January or February. Honestly, gross. December was hotter than usual. I just need to stop talking about the weather. It's quite literally uncomfortable to be outside. It's about to storm low-key because it's been that hot. It's just disgusting. I did a 10 kilometer run this morning, which was really hard. And I'm proud of myself for getting it done. I actually feel pretty good because usually like a 10K would make me feel quite tired. But so hot, I literally lost a liter of sweat according to my Garmin. A liter of sweat, so you best believe. I've had all the electrolytes today. Make sure you stay hydrated, guys, in this heat. It's intense. But I've had a good day today. It's been pretty productive. Um, I've been by myself all day, which is a bit dangerous for the old mental health situation, but we're doing good. And I'm about to go pick up the boyfriend from work because we're gonna go view a house, which I'm very excited for because if you watch my 2024 kind of goals situation, I really wanna move house this year. That's a big goal and I think that'll actually help my mental health a lot. We wanna move closer to the CBD. Yes, we're gonna bring Charlie. Don't know why people think I wouldn't. Very excited, some really nice location. But part of me is also like, imagine if we got accepted like in my brain it's like not gonna happen for a while which is probably not a good thing to think because I want to manifest that it's gonna happen or that it has happened isn't that what you're supposed to do you're supposed to act like you've got it already but imagine I'm like if you we were accepted like I don't even think my brain could comprehend moving and what that will feel like um I need to go so hopefully that recorded this time so yay Happy, what's today? Tuesday. I'm about to go into, about to go into the gym, do a bit of a workout. It's 9 a.m. So getting the day started, feeling good. Uh, I didn't end up filming at the house inspection because there were so many people. I think because of all the rentals that we'd been to so far, there'd only been like one other person looking or it was just us. So we were a bit like, oh my God, there's so many people. We really liked it. We'll probably apply. I didn't end up getting any photos because I was too like overwhelmed by the amount of people. And I was like, ah, everyone was just like there. And I was like, I can't like film. It's also day two of the Fit Girl Challenge, which is really fun. We've extended the registration for a week. By the time you see this video, I think it'll be closed. We've actually extended exceeded the amount of people that signed up from last year, which is super exciting. Um, yeah, what else do I have to update you on? Oh, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I've started reading Throne of Glass. I really, really like it. I'm up to Crowd of Midnight. I don't know whether I just said Crowd of Midnight. <laughs> Crown. Crown of Midnight, which is the second one, but I've already read Assassin's Blade, which is the prequel. There are so many different debates, arguments, if you will, 
about the reading order of Throne of Glass. If you didn't know, there's like various reading orders that you can do with the books. There's also a tandem read that you can do. Elise said that she saw someone say to not do the tandem read your first time reading. But I'm also like, will I reread these books? I don't know. I don't know. There's so many different things. There's also something that said Sarah J Maas confirmed the reading order, which was like Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, then Assassin's Blade. I don't love novellas. I just wanted to get it out of the way. And I just was like, I'm just going to read it, it made more sense in my brain for me. Don't come at me if it's if you think it's the wrong way. But I've done it now. So Elise is on Assassin's Blade, but she went the the normal way, the right way. Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, then Assassin's Blade. But Assassin's Blade was good. I listened to most of it on audiobook, which was really good. So I just kind of boosted through it. I was listening to it when I was running. We got it done. But I'm really excited. I feel like I'm I've got my reading spark back. Thank you, Sarah J. Maas. We love her. Let me check what we've got on the agenda for today. I'm a little bit behind what I've got to do in terms of the gym because I ended up doing like last week's long run yesterday, which is on Monday. So this week will probably be like have one extra big run, but I think I'll be okay. All right, we are back from the gym. Do you ever just look at yourself and you're like, what? Something's wrong. Like, why do I, why do I look funny? I feel like maybe it's because my eyebrows are like, not as dark. I feel like I look naked. I hate putting tinted brow gel on though. It just makes my eyebrows look so blocky. Do you ever feel like sometimes your face just looks so flat and you look dead? Okay, I think that looks better. Maybe it's the lighting. <clears throat> anyway, gym was good. It wasn't the best workout I've ever had in my life, but it wasn't the worst. But you know what I do want to do is put on a temporary tattoo. I'm going to put it on now because the last, the last time I did this, it transferred all over me because I was asleep. I'm falling back into the trap of like not vlogging because I feel like I don't have anything interesting to vlog about. Every single person that I follow, they aren't doing anything interesting. They're just kind of talking to the camera and they're doing their daily things. I don't know if it's because I've been doing this for so long that I just forget. Hang on, let's, let's leave. Um, that I just forget that that's what I used to do. And I used to not even think twice about it, but I don't know what it is. I don't know. So, okay, I got a new tripod. See, I feel like I look better out here. Maybe it's just the lighting in that room. I got a new tripod and it's way more like stable and better quality than my other one, but I hate it because of those reasons. When I'm vlogging, I just want to whip it out and like extend it, put it down. I don't want to be standing there faffing around for one minute <laughs> trying to get it fixed. Okay, got some alcohol wipes. Not me using the Case Defy antibacterial. I should totally do a tattoo tour. Oh my god, the, the fake tan coming off. <laughs> I should totally do a tattoo tour. Although, I feel like the whatever the last one I did was probably the same as what it is now. I cannot see myself getting any more tattoos in the near future. And if I do, they'll probably be quite small and insignificant. If anything, I feel like I'll probably get some of my tattoos removed. The idea of these, these are from Easy Tat, not sponsored. I was gonna put this on for the Wildlands Festival. Oh, see? This camera is so annoying. See, now I have to try and get this straight. Does that look straight to you? The thing about your wrist is you change directions a lot. Okay. And then you really wanna, I wanna get this a bit more wet. I'm pretty sure it says hold for like 30 seconds to a minute. Hold it for ages because I've had some of them not transfer that well. They're so much fun. I feel like my hair looks very red today. Very red. Oh, it's crooked. That's all right. That'll do. And just let that dry. And then that will slowly darken over time. This is my old shitty one. But see that? Whip her out. She's not very stable, but she's quick. It's a metaphor. I need to get a wider lens for this camera. I think that could be a good investment. Um, I've got like three things coming in the mail. And tell me why things getting delivered to your house, it never gets old. Where is it at every second of every day? I'm waiting for this package. Hi, if I look like I've been crying, I have. <laughs> we just had like a little bit of a traumatic experience with Charlie on a walk. She's all right though, but. It was just, I feel like if you're a dog owner and something happens to your dog and you can't control it and you're like scared and you don't know what's happening. Ah, so that's fine. Um, but we're just gonna go to GYG and get some food. But I feel very tired and very drained. Way 
to the doctors right now because it's kind of like a last minute appointment. I've been experiencing some pretty, do I want to use the word significant? Yeah, maybe. I've had some back pain on my left side, specifically lower back pain for mm, maybe close to a month now. And it kind of comes and goes. It gets a lot worse when I'm sat down. I thought the massage might help it. I don't know if I've like got a slip disc or something or I've pulled something but I'm gonna go to the doctor I'm also a little worried that it could be a UTI or a kidney infection which are they the same thing I saw a TikTok of a girl saying that she had lower back pain and that was her only symptom and she literally went to hospital because she had a kidney infection a few other things that I'm like oh Maybe it's, maybe it's not like a muscle thing and maybe it is like a freaking UTI, which would not be something. So, so I'm going to go to the doctor right now and explain to her what I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know which one I would prefer. I mean, if it was a slip disc, then it's probably just I need to rest and like literally not do <laughs> any, any back exercises until it heals. If it's like a UTI, well, that's interesting. So let's see what she says. They like canceled my appointment, but then I just rebooked it. So hopefully they're not going to be like, sorry, your appointment's not today. <laughs> Hi, I literally never updated you on the results of um, my doctor's appointment. Didn't have UTI, so that's good. Um, she kind of just said to take like Voltaren, which is like a back pain medication type of thing. My back is so weird. I definitely think I need to go to like a physio or something like that because running like literally doesn't irritate it at all. I'm trying to like limit like hip hinge movements. I probably should be resting. You probably will be screaming me in the comments to just like stop. Yeah, I think the next port of call, is that a thing? No, the next thing that I'm gonna do, and what I probably should have done at the start, is just go to a physio. But it's actually been pretty good the last couple days. So it, it like flares up. I don't know, it's weird. So yeah, but no UTI. Good morning. It's 5.20. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 26 degrees. Oh no. It's so hot. Oh, it's all right. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I'm going to do a 10k long run. I really haven't been on my schedule at all. Let me start my watch. The sunrise looks quite nice though. I really have not been on my running schedule at all. The sky looks pretty. You can't really see it, but it looks like nice and pink. Did I put tears on? Yes. Oh my goodness, it's hot. Oh, I'm I'm so excited for winter. I've never been so excited in my oh, I, just my I just filmed the stretching and it didn't film any of it. I'm like already sweating. Already sweating. Yeah, I feel like I can hear thunder, which is weird. I wouldn't be mad if it rained though. Would not be mad. Bit scared. Heat just makes it so much harder to keep your heart rate down. We're like five, uh, just over five in. However, oh my gosh, I had to go, I had to circle back home because that was, I know I talk about this a lot, but my golly, that was the closest I've ever come to shitting my pants. Don't know what the deal was there. I think I, I did have a very high, ugh, high fiber meal for dinner last night. That's probably it. There's, I keep running through spider webs. It's like freaking me out. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and go as slow as I can. My heart rate is so high. Ooh. I'm listening to Air of Fire because <clears throat> I feel like listening to like an audiobook or a podcast when you're trying to go slow, it's very helpful. I need to try and still make sure my cadence doesn't slow down too much. Anyway. This is the first time I'm like walking back. Usually I will run the distance, like whatever it takes to get to my house, even if it's like a little bit more than the distance. But I stopped it at 11K and I'm, oh, my legs feel sore. But I really need to get better at 
doing longer runs because the way to get better at it is to do it more often, you know? So I need to get used to time on my feet, but that was hard. My sports bra, it's like wet. I feel like I've jumped in a pool and I'm so thirsty. Holy shit. This probably would have been a good idea to bring some um, hydration, but I don't want to wear my vest because I don't want to have, I want to have as little on as possible. Far out, that was hard. We got it done and I'm gonna stretch because I feel like that's the reason that I might have lower back pain. My legs feel sore. I feel like my legs haven't felt sore in a while, but that's good because I need to start increasing because I don't want to just like jump into marathon training and then all of a sudden it's like, bam, 16 kilometer long run. My legs aren't used to that, so we got this. Oh, I'm so sweaty, so sweaty. Hi, this has been me like all day today. I am flying through Aerofire. I'm 61% through. I even think I might even finish it today. Today has been such a chill day. I decided to like pop a tan on since I've been reading all day. I started a bookstagram. <laughs> Yeah, what's it called? Elliverse. What is it? Elliverse. Elliverse? Yeah. Everyone go follow Elliverse. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I followed you, but I can't find you. Also, that just reminded me, um, I do have a Goodreads. I'm pretty sure my name is just Connie Kathleen, if you want to go follow me on there. I mean, I've only got like a handful of books on this. Most of it is Sarah J Moss. Um, I also like haven't really decided, well, I know I have decided. I'm going to finish Throne of Glass before I read Crescent City 3, I think, just because I'm really on a roll with this. What is this the fifth book no the fourth book this is the fourth book and then i have i think one more and then the tandem read and then one more is it is that what it is i don't actually know but anyway this is really really good i'm really enjoying it so far do i like it more than akatar i don't know i feel like i'll have to it's similar to akatar but at the same time it's so different because akatar is romance with fantasy this is like fantasy with romance the romance is way way less in this so far but it stands on its own like the story is so good um which is something that i was like not worried about not that i read the books for like the romance but it's such a big part of it so this is great and there's no smut in it so far but it, i think they do it does come into it in the later books so yeah but it reckons i've got four hours 20 minutes left so we'll see how we go Good morning, happy Sunday guys. Just checking if I've got food in my teeth. It is a very rainy, gloomy Sunday. It was so hot yesterday. I literally didn't go outside. I pretty much just read <laughs> all day, which is really nice. I haven't done that in a very long time. Um, and I ended up finishing, oh, <clears throat> I ended up finishing Air Fire. So now I'm on to Queen of Shadows and I'm loving it so far. It feels so nice to be like really invested in a book series again. It's funny because today feels like more of a day that you would want to stay inside and just not go anywhere. But I really want to get out of the house. So we're going to go to the shops. I'm having a little bit of a crisis with my hair. Do I like it? Do I not like it? I think if your, um, if your main color or your like usual color that you are is blonde. Whenever you're not blonde, you can feel a little bit not like yourself. I don't know. And I feel like I still don't really feel like myself with the hair. And in my mind, I'm like, did I look better with blonde hair? I don't know. And obviously it's not that deep. <laughs> 
but I think I definitely want to see what I would look like if it was more like all red or like more of like a gingery color but I do really like it I don't know I think if you if you if you have blonde hair you know that as soon as you're not blonde you just want to go back to being blonde I do want to make sure that I like it and it makes me feel confident and at the moment I'm not sure if I'm feeling super confident with it yeah I think it's meant to be raining for the next little while as you can see so that's good mm -mm -mm -mm. little bit of concealer oh my god you know what i need to start i didn't do it last year because i messed it up it sounds really dramatic but you know those like countdown it's like that miley cyrus song on tiktok i did it once and it was so cool because you kind of like saw how my hair went from brown to blonde it's like that miley cyrus song where it's like the last time i freaked out it's like january and then it's like february i just kept looking down i need to start that because today is the 29th oh no today's the 28th of january I don't, the days feel so weird because it was a public holiday on friday so today feels like monday low-key crescent city 3 comes out on tuesday which is super exciting Although I am going to definitely finish Throne of Glass before I start it. But that's just so exciting that it comes out. There's a hair on my face. This is the finished makeup. I really like how it turned out. Um, I actually really like my outfit. I can't see very well. I'm about to get a coffee from McDonald's. There is like a 50-50 chance these days of them putting sugar syrup in the coffee. Even though I asked for it without it, I try and have a sip of it as soon as I get it because I honestly think at one point, like three times in a row, they put sugar syrup in it, which may seem like not a big deal, but I don't know what the sugar syrup is, but it's so, so sweet. It's very, very overpowering, and I just, I don't want all that sugar in my coffee. So, see how we go, because without the sugar syrup, it's great. Can I get a medium iced latte? Uh, can I get it with almond milk and no sugar syrup, please? Thank you. Have a good day. Ah. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, we're good. Funny. We're good, we're good. I would go to McDonald's every day for lunch. Um. Hello, good afternoon. Um, it is now 1.24. I have a podiatrist appointment at 1.30. I've made brilliant timing for once in my life. It feels wrong to be going to this appointment with like makeup on. <laughs> Today's been a good day so far. So I've had like, I've been pretty productive. I swear, it's always, I either have days where I feel like I have too much time or days where I feel like I don't have enough time. There's no in between. No in between with anything really with me. I was supposed to have this appointment like literally the 3rd of January, I think, or the 4th, but I've kept on pushing it back 
back because I like haven't really had a consistent week with it with running. I wanted to make sure that I had been running fairly consistently for at least a week for her to analyze and like see how I've been going rather than me having time off and then coming back to the appointment. Also in regards to like how my plantar fasciitis has been going it's all right it's definitely still there so we might have to kind of like restart the shockwave therapy because we only ended up doing four sessions because I felt like we had good enough progress and she thought we could just stop it but maybe I did end up needing the six. It's mainly just a thing in the morning where I can feel it and it just feels quite tight and then it goes away. It's super weird. All right, let's go. I really need to pee.